Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode. Ooh, look at the water effects in this one. I'm so used to the Vita version. Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. You are watching me, Robovin, play through the second chapter. We are on Rimlidar? Rim Rimlidar? L. So we built her this uh, hospital area last time, which isn't much to look at, but hey, it's something. Really? You will help me, Robo? Rubus be praised for sending me such a willing disciple. I beg your pardon? You didn't say anything of the sort? Forgive me. I fear I was so caught up in the excitement of my new sick room, I only heard what I hoped to hear. But, 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 be that as it may, after the wonderful work you did with that room, I have another request for you. Now that we have a sick room for the ill and injured to recuperate in, we must bring them here and help them to get better. Some time ago, I saw a man who had fallen ill with the blight a little way to the west. Alas, I didn't have the medicines I needed to soothe his troubles. Though he may be too weak to walk, Robo, I'm sure a strong lady like you would be able to carry him here. Please, my lamb, use your compass to find this poor soul and lay him to rest in the sick room. <laughs> the first time that I played this, I accidentally... Ooh, is there something up there? I accidentally brought the guy back. Whoa, look at that water! I accidentally brought the guy back before she asked me to, because I figured that she would be asking me a question like that. Ooh, there's also ivy here. Hmm. Nothing else, though, eh? We will take this ivy, though. We'll have to see if there's something in here afterwards. I didn't realize that there was ivy this close. Alright, let's go. We are... Going to this guy. How convenient. Except... Hmm... We only have eight. Let's build a bridge across. I feel like that might be the most appropriate action here. I didn't even think of doing this before. But honestly, I think... Oop! Well, so much for that. Let's go grab this guy. And then we'll build... What's he say? Err, stupid blight. Cough, cough. Who are you? You're not from around here, are you? My name's Nosh. There's nothing you can do for me. Just leave me alone and let me die in peace. W what You have a, a place to rest? Not far from here? I don't have the strength to walk. I'm so sorry, but could you carry me? Ah, we can totally carry this guy. I want to take that fire, too. Oh, can we not take it? Oh, well. Let's carry him. Uh, I wish I had my silly... Oh, you can't, uh... Alright, let's put this man down. And get ourselves some we can only go one at a time so let's see Too shabby. All right, let's see. Let's go grab this man of ours. And we'll we'll carry him back with us. But yes, you can only you can only take one step the way. Of course, yeah, put you down. We 
are going to... You're, you're okay here for the moment, right, Muddy? Alright, let's, uh... Plan this out. Um... I am going the right way, right? Yes. <laughs> All we need to do is find our way down. Oof. Wow. <laughs> Monsters, no. Dang it. I'm gonna have to deal with these first. I'm gonna get nosh in a second. Sir. Sir, please go away. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Mr. Oh, you are terrifying. I don't even wanna... Oop. Say what you look like. Uh, we don't even have anything that we can... Has she built us anything? No. Um, what can we make? Can we make anything? Of course not. All right, let's let's bring this guy back, and then we'll we'll deal with our. Oh, it's raining. not fall I will not fall oh look at me I recovered a tiny bit that's good look at me carry this guy like a champ let's put this man to bed you can have the fire the fire close bed um, um. Robo, can you not find the poor soul that needs our help? Before you arrived, I met a poor man suffering. At the time, I had no place to take him and no medicine to soothe his troubles. Much though it pained me, I could not, I could do nothing for him. But now that you're here, we have everything we need. I am trying to, oh, there we go, lay down. You need herbs. Let's go find you something. I need to actually eat. Thanks for building things there. We'll take that, and we'll make that. Great. This one definitely starts out a bit more touch and go. Oh, now she of course builds something, or starts making something. Medicinal herbs. find some herbs to take back to him and stuff to heal me with. Come here, you. No! No, that's not nice. We are gonna have to watch out. Nope. You stay away. Ugh. We're gonna have to be super careful here. No! Go away! Please 
please do not hurt us. I do not want to be hurt. Nope. 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 Egg, we will take though. I'm just like lounging around in danger here. No problem at all. Alright, I think that's good. I'm a little nervous, to say the least. There's uh, archers everywhere. No, please don't hurt me. One more bush. Two more bushes. Woo! Three more here. I don't want to take a chance. Alright. Do we recover? Oh, it do looks like we do recover over time. Well, that's good. Very slowly, of course, but we do recover. Alright, great. Nice. Let's talk to her, because I know I've wasted this before. Praise be to Rubus, Ro Robo. You've brought me a patient. From his pained expression, it looks like he's lost every ounce of his strength. It seems he suffers from the same sickness that affects so many here. Some slowly waste away until they grow so weak they perish, others cough even more severely until they cannot even breathe and succumb that way. In others, the disease eats away at them from the inside until their very bodies rot and fall apart. That is awful. This vile contagion presents in, presents in so many different ways. But we need not find a cure for every form of the illness just yet. For now, Robo, all I ask is that you help me save this one poor soul. Alright, what, what, what else are you saying? We can help him, you know. Robo, my lamb, there's a reason that blight runs rampant through Rim Rimladar. It is all due to the Hades Condor, who rules the roost over the entire island. If we ever wish to see the skies cleared, or the poison purified, this demon bird must be slain. It's said that the root cause of the blight that grips Rimula, Rim, Rimuldar, Rimuldar is the fell rain that the condor summons forth. So by bringing that to an end... What's that, you say? Shouldn't we help that patient before we start dealing with the root cause? How right you are, goodness, goddess forgive me, for I am a wretched sinner. I've let my anger towards the monsters get the better of me. Robo, we must see to our new patient immediately. Judging from his symptoms, it seems the illness is still in its early stages. If we can just restore his vitality, he should be able to recover by his own strength. A pouch or two of medicinal herbs should be enough to get him back to the road to recovery. I shall watch over this poor patient and make sure his condition doesn't deteriorate. Would you be so kind as to just prepare and administer the medicinal herb? Yeah. Ugh. No. Not that. Can you move? Move, move, move. I need. Oh, I know what I need to do at some point. I will need to build myself a. Uh... Let's drop these. I need to build myself a colossal coffer, is what I need to do. Oh, Robo, you've given our patient the medicine he so desperately needed. Goddess be praised. His symptoms should only st should start to subside soon. All he needs now is a good night's sleep and he'll be back to full strength. However, my lamb, I fear that I'll bat our battle with the blight has only just begun, and I don't know what horrors we'll see before it is ended. Our first patient's symptoms were particularly mild. I can only pray that all the others will be so easy to cure. Ah, but forgive me, I'm getting ahead of myself. I should instead be praying that our patient makes a speedy recovery. 
Remember, Robo, that when you treat a patient, they will still need time to recover their strength. I imagine most patients will recover with a good night's sleep. There's no harm in getting some sleep yourself while you wait for them to get better. Alright, what's next? Robo, my lamb, I'm so lucky that the goddess sent you to me, and luckier still that you built me the sick room I've always dreamt of. I want to make the most of this opportunity and offer the best possible treatment to all our poor souls who need my aid. If we're to defeat this accursed disease, we shall require the finest medicines available to mankind. Unfortunately, I don't know the first thing about making medicine, but hope is not lost, my lamb, for upon the plateau to the south lives Jer Gerontinus, Ger Gerontius, Gerontius. Yes, Gerontius, the famous herbalist. Would you be so kind? <coughs> Would you be so kind as to fetch him for me? He's a very learned man, and he knows how to make all kinds of tinctures, salves, and ointments. With his skill as an herbalist and the powers of a builder, I'm sure we could create a curative to cure the blight itself. I'm sorry, why don't you, I go fetch him myself? He's a fearsome, stubborn man, Robo. If anyone can convince him to join us, it's you. Besides, were I to try to talk to him, things could get very complicated. I don't really know how it might turn out. So please, Robo, follow your compass and find Gerontius, 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 and convince him to come back with you. All right, let's go grab him. Let's also put some things away in this food chest. Ooh, hopefully, she no, she didn't make anything. That woman, I swear. Uh, let's put this away, and this away, and this away, and this away. Alright, that should be good. Um, let's eat. Oh, we already have that. No, away. Alright. Time to go find this man. I'm not entirely sure how far he is. Oh, I should totally just make a... Oh, I've only got two. Hmm. I almost might. Make myself a bridge. I want to know what's also up there, if anything. All right, let's make ourselves a bridge. Let's hope no beasties come get us in the midst of this. Of course they're not. Of course they are. Ugh. All right. I love that it turns purple. That's crazy. Are we going to have enough? Oh god. <laughs> Look at that. Crazy. We just need to make ourselves some uh, stairs. Of course, you know. All of these guys. Can you please all stop spotting me? That would be lovely. I will take those eggs, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where are we going? 
This way. I need a torch. That's what I should totally make. Ooh, there's a spot there. We will not take it, but it will come in handy for later. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Except for a uh, archer. I don't know what they're named. If anybody wants to tell me, that'd be awesome. I'm pretty sure that he's close. Ah. Hello, sir. Hmm, who are you? I've never seen your face before. Will I mourn for you too, just as I mourn for those lost souls, these lost souls? For all my knowledge of the healing arts, I was still powerless to save them. Yes, I am Gerontius. Yeah, Gerontius. <laughs> but who in the world are you? What? You're the builder? And Ellie sent you to find me? El? Harumph. If that's the case, then you're wasting your time, young lady. I no longer have the will to help her. There is still one more soul I must put to rest, but I haven't even the slightest. Simplest wooden memorial to honor his memory. Please, just leave me alone. If you make us go all the way back. Wooden memorial. I swear to God, this better be able to build it. You jerk. Can I not even make a chimera wing? Oh, that is poops. Ah. Wow. Game. Sometimes, sometimes I just, just want to. Oh, of course it did. All right. Oh, let's grab this slime while we're at it. No, we will not. We have no quarrel with you. Of course, all of these guys. Could have built myself one more feather. All right, let's build ourselves a tombstone and bring it back to him. Well, we'll also build ourselves some of this. And build ourselves some of this. And, uh, oh, we need... take it back. Ooh, actually, we should eat first. We are getting our serious, serious protein in today, that's for sure. Okay. At the very least, we can hopefully kill two more Chimera and, uh, Bring uh, what's his face back with us. What a unfair fight that was. Come back here. Ugh. And you're half done too. Yeah. One more. Thank you for that. Just what I wanted to be roasty toasty on fire. Ooh. I guess we kind of want up there. Okay, sir. Where are 
are you? Ah, oh, there you are. And, of course, an archer around. Oh, Not my intention to get hit. Alright. Let's, uh... Put this back. There we go. Happy now, sir? Because we're kind of under attack. Harumph, so you created a memorial from scratch, did you? It seems you really are the legendary builder. What exactly has that girl made you agree to? She's put ideas in your head about working together s to eradicate the plate, hasn't she? Listen to me, young lady. You can't fight death. It's the natural order of things, and you're just going to have to accept it. Man is the only creature imminent, impertinent enough to try to escape death. Doesn't that strike you as foolish? Absurd, even? Humph. That's what makes us human, is it? You're a lot cleverer than you look, I'll say that much. Very well, let's return to your settlement. I want to see just how much you and Elle have thought this through. Oh, of course. Oh, I can't... I wonder if I can build a... Uh, yes. All right. Oops. Oh, I gotta equip it. Yes. Stop it. That's what you get for ganging up. Yeah, how do you like that? Alright, let's go back with, uh... Ooh! There's an area over there. Ooh, you're feeling better, eh, buddy? Woohoo! I'm back to my old self again. Thanks for saving me. I never knew the blight could actually be cured. Honestly, I was convinced that falling ill with a plague was a death sentence. When I got sick, I thought it was just a matter of time before I bit the dust. The thought that I might actually get better never crossed my mind. <laughs> Little did I know that a nun with the face of an angel, and a builder with the face of a potato, would nurse me back to health. You're brilliant, Robo. Both of you are. Is it okay if I stay here? I just know we're gonna get along. Oh, and here, take this. It n might not be much, but it's the least I can do give you for saving my life. Oh, that is amazing. We will totally take that. Alright, let's see what this guy has to say, and then we are out of time. Harumph! So this is where you're setting up the little sanatorium, is it? Robo, do you really understand what you're getting yourself into? Fighting the Blight will be much more painful than just giving into it. But it seems your mind is made up. I will join you, and do what I can to research a cure for this disease. With your building powers and my herbalistic wisdom, we may just be able to put a stop to this plague. Come, Builder, let me teach you how to make a herbalist cauldron. We will need one to prepare remedies. Crafting station. And let's see what... By the great shepherdess in the sky, you've guided Ger Gerontius back to us. He has, I'm going to call him Jerry from now on, he has his doubts about waging war on the Blight. I'm sure he must have grumbled something about the futility of trying to resist death. Did he subject you to one of his long-winded philosophical lectures too? He's like that, I'm afraid. Please don't let it get to you. Gerotinus, oh Jerry, is herbalist, with a, knowledge, with a rare knowledge of the causes and cures of illness. However, without the power to create, he could never make full use of that wisdom. But you are the Builder. With your powers of creation, the marvelous medicines he could only ever dream of before can finally be given form. Robo, my lamb, our preparations are complete. Now we must all work together to defeat this ghastly disease. 
All right, my lovelies. I will see you on the next episode. I hope you guys tune in. We have two quests, apparently, that we must get to. So catch you next time, and we'll see you for more Dragon Quest Builders soon. Bye for now.